Uh, what was I doing? So I wanted to show... Yeah, I wanted to show... This here is, uh, Xanthan03. He's in the Ken Discord, and he, uh, he got bodied. Well, you know, we're not gonna be kind about this. I mean, we'll be kinda kind about it. Like, he got bodied straight up by, uh, FGC Rage and Ultra Diamond Urian. They did a first to 10, he lost 10-0, something like that. So, what we're gonna look at, right, or what we're gonna look at is I'm gonna, I'm going to try and diagnose and I thought, I thought this replay was like super interesting because um, Danthan uh, plays pretty similar to how I play. Like, he plays pretty similar. Um, that he likes jumping, he likes, you know, like, he likes trying to make you make mistakes. But it, what's really interesting is that, like, I can't say for certain that I would beat, you know, FGC Rage, right? But you did see my game against, um... The master you're in, I forget, I forget his name, I'll, like Mandrake or something like that. Um, and I'll, I'll try and, I'll show and I'll do a comparison, compare and contrast of, the, of these two things. So, go into it. Right? Which, that anti-air, great, I love that. I love fireball and stuff. Drops the sweep, it was a little bit of an awkward range, but sure, you know, it's fine. But you notice, like, he's playing... He's playing at a little bit, you know, like, he's throwing a lot more fireballs, and he's playing, and he's just like... When he's in, he's not really pressing buttons, right? And... The buttons he does, he, he is pressing, but he's just like... He just gets... He's getting tagged a lot. Oh, that? Oh, that right there? Do not... Do not let a Urian do that in front of you. Just, just step kick him. Just like, just, just run up and step kick him because that you have enough time to receive, react, and then step kick. Do not let Urians do that. Uh, I'm gonna check the frame data real quick so I can kind of prove my points. Uh, v skill. V skill is. 52 frames. 52 frames. Your step kick is 26 frames. So that means you have 26 frames to react. You have 26 frames to react to that. Like average, like our standard fighting game, like reaction time, like a window that you should allow for is like 11 or 12 frames. That's if it's if it's less than 11 or 12 frames, then then you you, you don't I don't think you, you can't really react to it. But you have 26 frames to react to this. So that's something that'll, um, that's actually knowing that and, and punishing stuff like this, shutting that, that part, like never letting him get armor, uh, helps out a lot. Anyways. That was good. That was good. That was a bad jump in range. I'm assuming that he thought he was gonna back right. So let me go back. Yeah, I assume that he thought he was gonna back right or something. All good. All right, now he loses that. I don't think you uh, hold on. Go back. I, I I actually missed that. Uh, Oh, he goes for an overhead, okay. And then he just, he gets, uh, overheaded. For at least, whatever. Oh, and then he drops that! Ah, oh, man. I wish he had the, the inputs on. I wish he had the inputs on here, because, um... Because only heavy punch CP hits, hits there. Maybe medium, medium punch kind of, but there's a little bit far range. He should have just done heavy punch CP in the stun, but... And then he goes for an overhead again. And then he gets hit by the overhead. Into death. No. 
Yeah, light DP doesn't work there. I'm not sure if he did medium punch DP, which I'll see sometimes, but I think that it was it was too far away. I think you should have just gone for heavy punch DP. But that, that's like a messed up combo, and that that happens, right? Um, but basically, when I was when I was watching this, I noticed I noticed a couple things. Like uh, Zanthan, he he likes he likes jumping. He dashes in a lot. He'll throw fireballs in the V skill, right? Which I, I do that a lot too. Um, yeah. And he goes for a lot of overheads, which I also do. He messes up his meaty times a few times. And then that was just a that's just a painfully dropped combo. That was a bad like combo spacing recognition. Oh, and then he also neutral jumps a lot. That's that's unfortunate. That is a drop uh, combo. Another drop combo. And then he throws out these weird DPs. Right? But like... But my, my, my thought is like... What I'm noticing here is that... He, he doesn't understand kind of what... What the, uh, the neutral game is supposed to be looking at. Looking right, right? Because he's just like... When they're up close, like he's just getting hit. And he's jumping at, at weird ranges. He's giving him like so much respect. He's actually going with a lot of standing heavy kicks, so we'll give him that. That's the other thing. He also does a lot of um, B skill cancels. And he's just getting hit. The god move. <laughs> he gets a little lucky there. He gets a little lucky there. He... Like, I kind of like that, uh... Huh, that was just... I'm assuming that was a drop DP. Oh, and then pressing buttons. Probably messing up another DP. Oh, and then just gets hit. <laughs> that's that's kind of like, and that kind of becomes the story of what goes on. Disrespect overhead. Oh yeah, totally disrespect. It might have been a dropped V V reversal. Um, so I'm kind of losing my point. That's a good jump in, right? So that, like, that's a good jump in range. Wait, like, and as the sets go on, uh, Rage starts realizing that Xanthan's only ways of approaching are through, uh, V-Skill and jumping, right? And dashes. So he'll start looking for that stuff more and start punishing it a lot more. And you'll notice that Xanthan likes to walk backwards. He loves walking backwards, like out of range. So one of the things about the, the neutral game between Ken and Yurian, one of the things about the, the neutral game between Ken and Yurian is that um, Yurian's buttons outrange Ken's, but they're also like a little bit slower, but they don't, it's not like the case of, uh, of Birdie, right? It's not like the case of, against Birdie. That was just a, you should do a standing heavy punch. There's no reason not to do a standing heavy punch there, but goes for another overhead, right? Goes for another EXCP, like, um, the kind of the, the tale of this game is that he, uh, he reaches, like, he does a lot of reaching, he goes for a lot of overheads, he goes for a lot of, like, kind of V-skill, like, V-skill cancels and neutral jumps and stuff. He does a lot of reaching, but he doesn't set up the reaching with, uh, kind of the neutral game. That, that light kick was amazing. It's that. And gets hit. And then he just lets him, lets him do that. Hey, Sketch, how you doing? 
How you doing? So, let's if we go a little bit further, because I want to show you uh, Xanthan uh, getting anti aired all the time and stuff like that. Right, but notice like, like that's another thing that happens a lot. Like, Xanthan will get clipped. He will get clipped right at the tip of Urien's like stand heavy punch light range a lot, and he and that makes him a little bit afraid in the neutral himself. Um, so what it is, what ha what's happening is like he's letting rage, <laughs> yeah. he's letting rage dictate the spacing. So rage is keeping the spacing such that his buttons will beat out Ken's. Like so, for Ken, you want to like you don't want to stay in their sweet spot. Ken's sweet spot's a little bit closer, so you actually want to get a little bit closer and get into your own sweet spot and don't let him back up. Like if he starts backing up, you walk him down, kind of thing. Um, because like because all of Ken's neutral game but buttons are like faster than Urian's, once you're in your own sweet spot, you can start challenging things a lot more. Instead, what we see is that Xanthan never really like he kind of challenges, but he never really challenges in the neutral in a range where like he would actually be hitting. He's trying to like he's trying to wish punish. If that uh, if you remember that term from way on back in the beginning of Street Fighter, that was a good DP. All right, still back, back and off, back and off. That Tatsu is heavy kick. Tatsu out of V trigger is a terrible idea. Always heavy kick Tatsu in V trigger is a bad idea. Out of V trigger is a terrible idea. Oh, he gets lucky there. Oh, catches him. That was a little bit less damage than he should be, but that's okay. Oh, and then messes up. Oh man, brutal. Absolutely brutal. I know, right? That was that was super sick. And yeah, there's a good there's a good punish. I don't like those neutral jumps. Oh, catches them. Nice. Goes for another overhead. Oh, another overhead drops the combo though. That's okay. That happens. Throw. Oh man, this guy, this Urian is good. Though. I will admit that this Urian is pretty good. Should have done a back throw for the meter though. Gets an L E X C P. But like, but that that that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. Where it's like, look look at the patience. The patience here is is unreal, and it's actually more patient than you should be. Right? Like what like what are you afraid of? But that neutral jump says like, what are you afraid of? There's nothing nothing really to be afraid of there. Yeah, sure he has an E X headbutt stored up, but who cares. I see Urian's the one that wants to be away. No? No, catch it. That was a good catch. Ah, <laughs> oh, and then just gets cut. Trying to, he's trying to crush counter him so bad, trying to... Like, but that's another example of, um... Xanthan trying to get lucky, right? He's trying to get lucky, just like, he's just throwing out that crouching heavy punch out there. He's throwing it out there. Trying to catch, trying to crush counter something. But the crutching heavy punch is not a good move to be throwing out in the neutral. Not a good move to be throwing out in the neutral. Oh, and that doesn't work. And outside the corner, you have to use the XCP. And even then, the XCP it doesn't always hit. Lucky, uh, Rage didn't, uh, about, but yeah, it's like something like that. Like, he's trying to get lucky. He goes back dash, fireball, raw tatsu. He gets him, but it's like, man. 
and gets a DP. Zan uh, Rage decides not. To that combo doesn't work. Yeah, no, with hard DP, it never works. Like, I'm saying if you're not point blank, like sometimes EX DP doesn't even work. Uh, Rage goes for the back throw for the screen position, which is important. Like, that's a that's a good thing to note. Screen position is super important. That was a good buffer. Gets hit by the overhead, which you should, um, a point of interest against Durians. So you can, you can challenge, you can, ch like, what you, what you do with, with this situation is you actually, um, you hold, you hold, like, after that, uh, medium punch, you always want to block standing first, and then either fuzzy guard the low, or just challenge the low if, if nothing happens, because you can, um, kind of, like, pseudo option select it, because, yeah, uh, there's enough of a gap, there's enough of a gap in between no overhead and a low, uh, like an overhead, a number gap between overhead and no overhead and a low that you can, uh, you can actually just challenge it if, if the overhead never comes. Uh, Zian, Zian, uh, put out a, a video about that, so you can check that out if you want. Now walks forward into that. Is that gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be death. But like, um, you also need to be more, more aware of I'm more aware of those neutral jumps. He had forever. Yeah, it you need to be more aware of the neutral jump. I like all, like all good stuff. But he's uh, he's like he's get like he's getting in there sometimes. Like I love his I love his jumps. You know I love I love some of the stuff that he's doing. But like he just needs to shore it up with some more challenge, more challenges in the neutral. Goes for a lot of EXCPs. Oh, a little bit too soon on that. All right, but no, no forward movement. Like the only forward movements they do are like dashes, V skills, and jumps. Right, no, no walk forwards. Nothing like that. And he kind of just, and then even on the defense, he kind of just, he doesn't do a reactive defense. He kind of just gets, he kind of just gets hit. Back off in the forward jump, right? Pressure. Back off in the forward jump. FC's rage is probably like he's like trying to any of them with big buttons now. You know, uh, rage the one making the sword moves. And then, and then pressing buttons. Pressing buttons when he's getting meated all over the time. Alright, another jump in. Which I actually like the whiff whiff overworld, but yeah, another jump in. And then now that he's in the corner, like some button challenges, but no move no trying to like no fireball, sure. Not a whole lot of trying to fight out of the corner, right? Neutral jumps trying to catch him doing something. Oh, V skill in the in the throw, right? Or V skill cancels. He has just overall just like a lot of trouble like just yeah and then like so that that's another thing like he was he was exactly where you want to be right he was exact like a little bit of a he was exactly kind of where you want to be it's Ken like kind of right in front of your end so that your buttons are hitting first and he and he just he backs himself away from that he was playing a little scared which I mean I kind of understand he's on low life but it's like and uh Or V skills. Rage having the large life lead is being very patient. Tries the any of that, but uh, messes it up. <laughs> and then just goes for the chip. That's uh, that's enough of that. So if we look at, if we look at this. Andrake. We'll go from 
What do you mean unavailable? What do you mean unavailable? Favorite replay. Why was it unavailable? This doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Alright. Round one. Fight. Alright. So turn this on. Alright, so first thing, like, first thing you notice, immediately like. I want to get in. Urian doesn't have any meter. He has no real way to challenge me this far away. I want to get in. I see he jumps. I go for the anti-air. It trades, unfortunate, but that's fine. Right? Look at that. Look like, like, just right there. It's, we're already like, it's already like a night and day difference where it's like, I'm in that range. I walk forward, stay in that range so that my buttons, my buttons are hitting, right? And that's, and that's where I want to sit. I get caught walking forward, happens. Oh man, I need to jump too. Challenging his forward movements with a crouching light kick. And then getting some jump ins, right? Because he's pressing heavy punch a lot, so I'm like, alright, let's jump in. Not afraid, not afraid the medium either. Right, and because, because I was like, he wasn't able to, um, right, because he was, yeah, because he wasn't able to, um, what was it, because he didn't, he didn't just see, like, he wasn't able to sit back and see that my approaches were all, like, very long-winded, either jumps or V-skills, like, the jump ins work, because he's trying to contest the neutral, he doesn't want me, he's pressing that standing heavy punch, because he doesn't want me to stand in that sweet spot range, he wants to keep me out of it, which then allows for the jump in. Right? So, I mean, I get jumped in on there, but that's another example. Like, I get pushed out, but then I go and I try and make my way in. I, I get hit because uh, I wasn't expecting a jump in, but that's okay. You know, similar jump ins and such, just they work out a little bit be better because, um... Because there's more of a challenge in the neutral game. Ah, and then I dropped the combo. Go for a tick throw. That's the first time he did that, and then I give it away with the uh, with the Tatsu. In depressing buttons when I'm negative. That happens, right? A foolish insect that dares to defy me. Final round. Fight. Now I'm baiting out the uh, throw or the EX headbutt. Go for a tick throw because I don't think that you do it again. And I'm trying to keep that stun, but uh, he ultimately gets out of it, I think. Good anti here by them, him though. There's like a lot, a lot more buttons and such. And because I'm pressing buttons, I'm able to get away with more V skills and such. Right? So, oh, there, there's that overhead, right? Right? So notice, like, look, if you look at my inputs, right? I'm holding back. I'm holding back. Because I'm expecting the overhead. The overhead doesn't come, I fuzzy guard it down to low. That's not like a reaction thing. It's not like I'm seeing like, oh, he's doing a low now. It was, it's just like a timing thing. Like, holding back, hmm, go back down to the low. Now that the overhead hasn't come. There's another example, right? It's there. I go, oh crap, overhead, right? I hold up for the overhead, and then I fuzzy guard down low. So you see my inputs again, I'm fuzzy guarding down low. But the overhead's already hit. The reversal, because I don't want to deal with the, me uh, the mirror, and I don't think I need a... Um... Right, 
I don't think I need uh, anything. I think I could have just punished that. Then, you know, walking forward, not not really trying to not let him get away by doing a lot of the walk forwards. I know he's got EX tackle, so I'm doing a lot of blocking, but I get caught with it anyways. And, you know, I'm trying to get, I want to get into that range. All right, want to get into that range, and uh, but I get ultimately I get jumped in on. So you see there, like a lot, like my my jumps and such, and my V skills work a lot better because I'm doing a lot slower, a lot more methodical kind of approach to the neutral in terms of I I I when I'm in the space that I want to be, I'm pressing a lot of. Them. I'm actively fighting against them, and then and then to get there, I'm not taking huge risks to get to the spot I want to be. I'm, you know, I'm working my way in there. Working my way in there kind of honestly, but then on top of that, I throw in some step kicks and some jump-ins and shenanigans, which catch him off guard because he's focused on trying to prevent me from walking into his space. Round one, fight. Oh, and then I messed up the combo there, but that doesn't matter, I catch him anyways. Try for a tick throw, sure. Hit. I get hit trying to get a little cute with the uh, stuff. Oh, the end is catch him, right? What do I catch him with here? Oh, I catch him trying to walk forward. Yeah, so I catch him. Get into my range, right? We're outside of my range, I walk forward, get into my range, hmm, hit buttons. All of a sudden, I'm back in there. Try for a little shimmy, get stepped out. He's expecting it, he tries the anti-air, but uh, ultimately gets hit. Now, that one I could have killed with an optimal uh, optimal combo, but I was uh, I got too excited. I don't think, yeah, I got a little excited. So that one, that right there, right? So this jump in spacing right here, you'll notice that I'll do like, I do a fairly late, a fairly high up Tatsu. And the whole reason for that is like before, I see that he's trying to anti-air with the uh, the crouch heavy punch, right? Which is a slow, which is a slow to start, slow recovery, far forward hitting moves. That's that's where this Tatsu comes in, because I don't want to hit him. I want to get right over him and then do do that punish. I tried the hit confirm, but I messed that up, I think. Oh, I should turn on inputs. Drop my combo, but you know. Alright. Walk forward, walk forward. He tries to challenge the walk forward with his elbow, but uh, he's a little bit too far away, a little bit too early, and I end up punishing him for that. That time getting him with the shimmy. Oh, expecting another shimmy type attempt. Oh, and then I get him with the uh, the, the V reversal. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, that was really funny. Can win. Real funny. But you can see, like, I, I hope you guys can see that I, I am doing a lot of similar stuff that uh, Xanthan was doing. It really... I think it really just came down to the, like, I, obviously I spent a lot less time in the air and such, but I was doing, like, a lot of similar things, but it was be... It was because I was spending so much time in front of them that those things working is like um because I got a lot of good damage off of that, but I was also getting damage off of the neutral, which you saw that um you saw that Xanthan uh Round he There was a lot of rounds where he was like this close to winning, and if he just gotten like any amount of damage in the neutral, like any amount of damage neutral, he would be not only winning rounds, but he would be taking games, you know? I get clipped. Once again, punish 
punching his stuff. Did an in range with my buttons. I uh, didn't expect that. Went for a frame trap. Oh, and then I messed that up, right? But a great side switch. Oh, did he block the right way? Oh, that's close. He did. Oh, that was a really good. That was some really good blocks by him. Look at his input. Really good. I didn't expect the throw though, or was willing to take the throw. Tried for the tick throw, get a beat out. Oh, and then I just get clipped. I just get clipped with that. So he's throwing out a lot more EX tackles because I'm walking forward and he's trying to punish my walking forward. Especially with a B trigger like that, I should probably be a little bit more careful. And then there's. Yeah. Oh, I jumped! Are you serious? I jumped? I messed that ah oh, man. I'm like, I could have sworn I was holding back. I just I slipped up a little. That's why I gotta get a hitbox, right? Same side. That caught me off guard. Other side didn't get me off guard. No punish though. I was not ready for that. Heartbreaker, right? Four challenges, fireball challenges. Oh, and then I just and I just mess up the thing. But yeah, you know, like that's what I'm saying. It's like you, you I challenge him a lot more on the ground. Because I'm not I'm not afraid of the neutral game like uh Zan Man. Hopefully, uh hopefully that helps. Anyone um Hopefully that helps him and anyone who, who is having trouble with the with the Yuri matchup as as Ken. Give you an idea of like how to approach it. Like, yeah, I understand that I lost, but like, and Drake's really good. <laughs> master. He got back up the master in that game. Yeah, he's really good. So, with that, uh, Eddie. Eddie and I should be playing some games right now. Did you send me an invite? No. 